Apple's 13-inch MacBook Pro and 12-inch Retina MacBook were recently updated with Intel's latest generation Kaby Lake processors. They both start at a base price of $1299, but what are the differences and which one is right for you? Of course there's always the option of the $999 MacBook Air, which received a minor CPU speed increase last year, but it's still running legacy hardware, including a low-resolution display. So if you're in the market for a new MacBook, we'd recommend ruling this model out. Spec-wise, the 12-inch Retina MacBook only tops the 13-inch MacBook Pro in terms of the SSD, with twice the base storage amount. The write speed is also 65% faster than the Pro's, but that's not as important as read speed, which is actually 61% faster on the MacBook Pro. If you're interested in style or portability, it's much thinner and lighter than the MacBook Pro, and comes in additional gold and rose gold color options. But if you're focused on horsepower, the MacBook Pro is the better choice. It matches or beats the Retina MacBook in every single way. It has a bigger and better screen, with 500 nits of brightness and DCI-P3 wide color gamut. The RAM on the Pro is also clocked at a higher speed of 2133 MHz. Apple says both models have second gen butterfly key switches, but in our tests, the keys on the Pro have more travel and a clickier feel, making them better suited for touch typists. The MacBook Pro also gets a larger trackpad and better speakers with high dynamic range. Just hear it for yourself. Although the 12-inch MacBook fares well, the sound is dominated by high notes coming from the tweeters, compared to a more full range of audio from the Pro. The 13-inch MacBook Pro also has a better, higher resolution FaceTime camera. The 12-inch Retina MacBook only has a single USB-C port, while the MacBook Pro boasts two that are capable of Thunderbolt 3 support. If you're not sure what that means, click on the card above. In contrast, the 12-inch MacBook only supports the Gen 1 USB 3.1 protocol, meaning slower speeds compared to Gen 2 on the MacBook Pro. Users can also upgrade to four of these ports if they choose the MacBook Pro model with Touch Bar and Touch ID. The 13-inch model also has faster integrated graphics compared to the 12-inch MacBook. Both base models have Intel's newest 7th generation dual-core processors. The fanless 12-inch MacBook only gets a 1.2 GHz Core M3 chip, while the Pro gets a 2.3 GHz i5 processor, which turbo boosts up to 3.6 GHz compared to only 3.0 on the 12-inch MacBook. As usual, we ran some benchmarks to test the performance differences between the two. In the popular Cinebench R15 CPU test, the Pro got a 52% better score, as well as a 50% better score in the graphics test. Geekbench 4 showed a 31% better score in single core, and 40% in multi-core for the Pro model. The GPU test also showed a massive improvement of 81%. In Octane 2.0, a web browser benchmark, the MacBook Pro comes out on top with a 39% better score. Unigen Heaven once again crowned the Pro as the winner with a huge 83% improvement. The 13-inch MacBook Pro got even more impressive when we were able to comfortably edit 4K video and edit photos in Photoshop and Lightroom. We tried the same on the 12-inch MacBook, and editing was unbearably slow. Better yet, the 13-inch MacBook Pro does all this while staying cooler, all because of the fanless design on the 12-inch MacBook. But as expected, all this extra power comes with extra power draw. We ran a 1440p video on YouTube on both models for one hour, with screen brightness locked in at the highest setting, and found that the Pro used 21% of the battery compared to 19% on the Retina MacBook. While there are more stressful tests to run, this activity is probably the peak of what most 12-inch MacBook buyers would be doing anyways. After all these tests, we can clearly see how much the 13-inch MacBook Pro outperforms the 12-inch MacBook, all for the same amount of cash. Some users may feel that they don't need the extra power anyways, but are you certain you won't need it a year or two from now? And don't forget the rest of the advantages you get with the 13-inch MacBook Pro. At least two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a better screen, better speakers, bigger trackpad, superior camera, and more. So if you're deciding on which model to buy, you have to ask yourself one question. What do I value more? Portability? or pretty much everything else. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.